Hey guys, so the other day I got bored and spent three hours watching hair care videos hair care routine and it got me thinking that I really want to invest in hair care a bit more so I went on to Amazon I went on to Sephora and I bought every viral hair care product that I wanted to try out and in this video I'm going to be testing every single hair care product and hack that I saw to you know take it up a level and really give my hair the TLC Aww. that it wants so first of all before we get into trying all the different hacks and products I went and got my hair cut because it desperately needed a trim it was a bit outgrown um, I wanted to get some longer layers put in because they were sort of growing out so that is what i did first Okay, my package has arrived. Guys, the feeling when a package arrives and the serotonin I get, I love it. I love it so much. I thought before I started the process, I would show you guys some of the things I ordered. I already have a few of the things I want to be using today, but you know, I decided to be a bit extra and first off i got a bamboo brush i always see people on tiktok like massaging their scalp and their head with a bamboo brush here we are one of the bristles is missing already which is kind of sad i feel like the bristles are going to come up this very easily so here she is in all her glory okay i'm gonna do the little bits first because these are all from amazon i also got these like hair clips so that when i try to blow outs in my hair or i've just done my hair i don't want to get in my makeup and these like little clips i can just do to like you know pull my hair back i think there's six here which is perfect. And then also this little water bottle spray. She looks so fancy. But like I said, I'm gonna do overnight curls or I just want my hair to be a bit damp before I style it. This is what I'll be using. Next package from Look Fantastic, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Look Fantastic. Not relevant to hair care, I also got myself a new sun cream because I think it was on offer. I got 100% organic cold pressed Moroccan argan oil, which I'll be using on the midst of the ends of my hair. I also bought a microfiber towel because I heard that like drying your hair with a normal towel can like damage your hair. Or just a microfiber towel is supposed to be like a lot better. So I bought one of these to try out. And then from Sephora, I'm probably most excited about this package. Okay, well, um... They gave me some little freebies and then I ordered the Jisoo hair perfume. I was deciding between the hair perfume or the hair oil, but I already have a hair oil that I'll be showing you guys later that I literally like love. And I feel like the hair perfume would be so nice because I love it when my hair smells good. Honey infused hair perfume. I'm going to quickly spray it and smell it before I use it later. It low-key just smells like, oh, it does smell good. Okay, when I first sprayed it, it just sprayed like, you know, that alcohol perfume smell. But then it's like settled. It smells like, like sweet honey. Literally how it's described. Wait, okay, yeah, that smells really good. My hair has been in this messy bun for the past 12 hours as I've been sleeping. It's currently 10.50 a.m. And I'm starting this in the morning because I'm gonna be oiling my hair and then letting it, like, do its thing for three to four hours, I think, before I even start my lengthy hair care routine that i'm going to be trying out um i'm going to give myself a five minute scalp massage with this bamboo brush all this pressure in my vessel so i pop 
got me thinking about being what by the way i just want to give a disclaimer everything i am doing and trying out today i am not like a hair care professionalist like i haven't probably studied this but i'm gonna be trying out all the viral trends myself and see how i feel about it and then give you guys my own personal non-professional opinion so i've heard that bambooing your head bambooing your head brushing your head with a bamboo brush like gets all the bloods flowing to your head and also distributes the natural oils from your scalp down to the mids and ends of your hair even if this doesn't work you know it feels so nice oh, i can't see what you're fighting for Okay, step two, oiling. Now, I was literally at the checkout with rosemary oil in my basket. That looked fantastic. When I realized that Space NK sent me this Ceremonia, like, remedy oil, which I really wanted to use. So, I'm going to be using this on my scalp. And then the ordinary cold-pressed Moroccan argan oil that I showed you guys earlier on the mid to end. So, I'm going to start off with this Ceremonia one. And supposedly, you are not supposed to use more than one to one and a half, like, full droppers of oil. Because over-oiling is definitely a thing um and over oiling can actually have the opposite effect so i'm just going to use about one big dropper maybe one and a half on my whole scalp i'm going to start with my parting and then i'm going to go to this side and then i go like underneath here and then i'm also just going to go down like the back of my head okay in circular motions i'm just gonna massage that into my head for a couple minutes i can't lie this oil smells so good I'm trying to figure out what scent it is, but it just, it smells so good. And now I feel like that it's evenly distributed on my scalp. I'm going to go in with the Moroccan oil. So instead of dropping this one on my hair, I'm going to put it on my hands first. Rub it into my hand and then go through my hair. And I'm literally just going to brush this through my hair. If anyone is like a hair guru and I'm doing this wrong, please let me know in the comments. It's funny because I'm testing a lot of these products out for the first time. But I'm also trying to teach you guys as much as I already know just from like watching other people's videos. And what I've read and seen on TikTok. So if I do get anything wrong, please do let me know in the comments. Whilst I let the oil sit in my hair, I'm going to do a little braid, which is a protective hairstyle. Like a very loose braid as well. I would give you guys a tutorial, but I don't even know how I do it myself. I sort of, okay, I start like this. I'm sick of daydreaming, I just want the feeling of you in my bed. I'm down at okay, I've done like the main scalp. I can't lie, I don't know how it's gonna look. But when I do them, literally no one is gonna see me. So as long as it's sort of out of my face, I don't really mind how it looks. But whilst my hair is sitting, my plan for today is to do my washing, wash my bed sheets, give my room a little clean, and then start a bit of packing for holiday. Because I'm literally leaving in two days and I've not started yet. And that's about it to be fair. I have a bit of like a sort out of my life, which is what I normally like to do when my hair is oiling. <laughs> Time alone. Step three is a scalp scrub. And the scalp scrub supposedly deeply purifies scalp and stimulates hair growth. I just got this one from my local health and food shop. So I'm going to try it out. Awesome, it reminds me like the scent of like the lush. The lush like face masks. Klaus, baby. God, okay, my arms are aching. I didn't like that that much. It was like very rough on my scalp. Maybe I need to try a different one. I don't know, maybe my hair will feel great afterwards. I'll update you. But in the shower, I'm gonna be using Olaplex. So I know these went viral and Space MK actually sent me two of their bottles, their shampoo and conditioner. So they're number four and number five. And I've been using them for just over a month. Honestly, I haven't felt that much of a difference since using them. Like, I don't think I would repurchase them. But I'm gonna use them again today because I have learn some new hair hacks whilst washing your hair and then the hair mask i'm gonna be using which is like battered but is the aussie one now this hair mask is so good i've tried a few different hair masks and i think this is the most affordable one that i think works really well like this fat tub i think maybe 10 or 12 pounds like it's not too expensive and it's, it's lasted me a while and this always makes my hair feel so silky so this is what we're gonna be using today So 
So in the shower, I'm going to start off by using the Odaplex shampoo. I'll pour a generous amount of the shampoo onto my hands and then lather it in my hands before massaging it into my scalp. I'll continue to massage my scalp in circular motions with this shampoo for around two to three minutes. And this feels so, so nice and also stimulates hair growth. And then I also went in with this scalp massaging brush and used this for also two to three minutes. When it comes to washing out the shampoo, it is so important to make sure you fully washed out all the product. Otherwise, if shampoo is left in your hair, it will build up and cause it to become greasy a lot quicker. So because I have thick hair, to make sure all the product is washed out, I'll usually separate my hair into different sections and just shove it under the shower head. This just ensures all the shampoo is properly washed out. This genuinely smells so good. And then I always used to add the hair mask after the shampoo and conditioner, but I learned that you're actually supposed to use the hair mask in between the shampoo and conditioner. So after washing out the shampoo, I'll rinse out as much water as I can from my hair, just so that the water doesn't dilute the hair mask. And then I'll scoop a generous amount of this hair mask into my hands, lather it in my hands, and then comb it through using my fingers between the mids and ends of my hair. And finally, I'm going to use Olaplex number no. five conditioner. I'm gonna squeeze a generous amount of this product onto my hands again rub it into my hands and then comb through the mid to ends of my hair and i leave this in my hair for around three minutes before washing it out before i get dry i'm gonna quickly put the microfiber towel on my head because my hair is dripping on my floor right now i just squeeze the excess water out at the end of the shower into the shower but it's still soaking it's such a fun color right okay I'm gonna go in with this Red Can leave-in treatment. I've been using this for a while. This is so good. Like definitely a product I'll notice if I use or don't use after washing my hair. Like put a bit on my hand. To be fair, you don't need that much. Lather it onto my hands and then just rub between the mids and ends of my hair. So before I start blow drying my hair, I'm gonna use the Hello Wow Dream Coat, which I saw over TikTok and my Instagram Reels for the longest time. And then I'm gonna be using the Dyson to dry my hair. This is the first one, not the second one I brought out, because I honestly don't see the point in buying the other one. And then when I blow dry, I'll section my hair into three sections and I'll be using my new clips. <laughs> For settings, I'm going to use medium heat, blow dry to about 80% dry. Then the next section, I'll sort of go from the crown of my head. And now I'm going to attempt to do a 90s blowout type look. I've done this once before on the Dyson and it took me like an hour and a half. It took so long. I think because my hair is really thick, I have to do it in really small sections, so it takes a while. But we're gonna try again today and see how it goes. Because I feel like it does look really cute when I do it. So I'm gonna section my hair into three sections. I will always do this whether I'm like styling or drying my hair. So the way I'm gonna be blow drying my hair is different to how I originally learned how to use the Dyson. I'm gonna use the thicker barrel and grab like a section of my hair, wrap it around and then turn it on. It looks really curly. But then when I brush it out at the end, I feel like they'll turn into loose curls. I know right now they look more curly than like I want them to, or maybe you guys are expecting them, but just trust the process. For the other side, I'm gonna switch the barrel to this one. And basically you just wanna make sure that the arrow is pointing away from your head. So it's pointing inwards, but then when I like turn it upside down, it will point away. This I 
Okay, final section, the top section. And then I'm just gonna brush through the curls. And the final step, which is my favorite oil, is the Amica Glass Action. I literally just put like two pumps on my hands, lather it through again, and then I'm just gonna try evenly spread it on my hair. I feel like this always makes it shiny and also just tames away like any like frizzy, frizzy bits of hair or like hair that's a bit out of place. My hair is looking so bouncy, I actually love it. I have a feeling after like an hour these will fall a bit more and just look a bit more natural. It's literally just like bouncing. I was just chilling when I realized I forgot to use the Jisoo hair perfume, which is funny because it was generally like the thing I was most excited for in this video. But I'm gonna go ahead and spray this on my hair. It honestly smells so good. I don't know how they've made it smell like honey, but it does. It literally smells like my hair is honey. I know I do not look the best today, but my hair, I genuinely think looks and feels like it's been professionally done and smells like it's it smells so good. But yeah, that is the end of today's video. If you are still watching to now, comment this emoji and I'll know you made it to the end, a true one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Up to make the same mistake.